Graham Duncan Smith. Mr. Speaker, can I um, recognise my right honourable friend's genuine endeavours in all these matters uh, and just return her to the point about the backstop? Does she recognise the genuine and real concern held on all sides of the House about what would happen if the UK was to be forced into the backstop? And I listened very carefully to what my right honourable friend said, and she said that the UK doesn't want it, uh, that the EU doesn't want it, and we heard the other day that Ireland said that no matter what any agreement, they would never have any hard border. So it makes you wonder, why is it in the withdrawal agreement at all? But the point I want to make to my little friend, and the question really is this. If the government, going down the road toward a negotiation, is heading towards that point when the backstop will become invoked, does that not really generally mean that Monsieur Macron is right that we will come under intolerable pressure to agree almost anything to avoid our entry into what my right old friend rightly says is something we never want to be in. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, can I say to my right hon. Friend, I do recognise the depth of concern that there has been and that remains for some members of this House about this issue of the backstop. But I disagree with him about the position that would entail, first of all, because, as I indicated in my statement, and uh, it is uh, largely thanks to my right honourable friend uh, and uh, our right honourable friend, the member for North Shropshire, that we are in this position of having within the withdrawal agreement the recognition that there could be alternative arrangements to the backstop or the extension of the implementation period that would deliver for the border of Northern Ireland. But it is right that... Where, while I recognise the depth of concern that this is not a situation that the UK wants us to be in, neither is it a situation that the European Union wants us to be in. And the reason is, although strange though it may seem to some members of this House, there are members of the European Union who actively think that the backstop would be a good place for the UK because of its access to the European Union markets without paying, uh, having financial obligations and without free movement. Uh, and so that's why they don't want us to be in the backstop either. Neither of us want to invoke it. The Taoiseach has been clear about that. We want to ensure that the future relationship replaces it and delivers our commitment to the people of Northern Ireland. It's Rian Blackford. Yeah.